Hey friends, Ryan up here and today we're going to be looking at building this bar top arcade stand from Game Room Solutions. Now I couldn't find any instructions online or otherwise on how to actually build this thing. So we're going to be using our expertise from building like a hundred IKEA shells and a master's degree in engineering to see if we can't screw this up. So stick with me and we'll see what happens. All right, well the first step I did was to put these little I don't know what they're called, cam lock doing things in here. Uh, you'll see a lot of people using a drill with these, but they're so easy to over tighten on this, this type of wood that that's kind of silly. I debated on putting the T molding in first, but yeah, I'm not sure. So we'll let you know at the end if that would have been a good idea. Okay, now we added the little drawer stays, I guess. So it kind of looks like it's upside down, but that little wheel there will roll up against in there so just gotta wiggle this around till it fits so got that on both sides all right I went ahead and applied all the T molding see right here it's a little rough on the corners but if you cut you a little like 90 degree notch out of the, the inside of the T part it's it lays a lot better Not made for corners, but I didn't notch any of this and it, it laid down fine. But yeah, I got that on all the pieces that had like right here on this and all the places that had team molding. All right, let's move on. All right, so I've been trying to put all this stuff up and I think I got everything where it goes. It doesn't look like this is anything but symmetrical, but I put the team molding spot at the top because you're gonna be able to see that part even though I think they should put one down here at the bottom to keep it from knocking on the ground. But anyway, so I'm gonna take and put these little cam lock deals in there now, but one thing I noticed is this. You can see you got very little room here and I don't think you'd even be able to get a stubby screwdriver in there to lock these in place. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off, set it aside here, then I'm gonna put this and then put the top on and then put that on the under it or something. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I'm not sure how to do this. So, because once the top's on, the screws are going to be in, you're not going to be able to put it in there. Hmm. Well, let's see. Okay, we got it all in. One thing I will say with these little cam lock things that they have, they're not like the ones where Ikea where it'll twist it and it'll lock in place. These ones just kind of twist and it's not even like uh, angled up to where there'll be some tension on it. So do better. Use some better equipment. But other than that, they're good. I don't know. Hopefully they'll stay. But yeah, this should... I don't know, we'll figure that out in a minute. It's supposed to flap open so the drawer can come out. All right, and this, I used this little piece here to reach up under there and screw those two uh, locks in, so. All right, let's put some drawers and stuff together. All right, got her all together. The only thing I would say is this thing is like obnoxiously heavy. So I would worry about the hardware and this looks like it's a foot stand, but I don't know if I put my foot on there. But there is a shelf, it comes with shelf doinks. The shelf is on the floor right there. It goes right in here somewhere. It is adjustable. Um, looks good. Oh, and it comes with these bolts to, to bolt the actual bar top to it, but there's no, there's no nuts. So I don't know if that was an oversight on just this pack job or if it was intentional. So we got that side and we got this side. The logo up there. Yep, so there's the holes for those bolts. All right, well, let me know what you think. Hopefully you have a good time putting all this together and getting yours, your bar top set up. So if I ever get done scrapping the games, we can build a retro pie image and start playing. See ya.